one place. Yes, right. What's up? All, All right. One place. coming into the chat first things first give the stream a thumbs up bro we have to get the stream to 100 likes stop playing we're at 13 likes i need everybody watching the stream right now give it a thumbs up let's go straight crazy with the like button where's my like gif gif i call it a gif where's my likes oh right there there it is Give the stream a thumbs up right now, right now, right now. Do it, do it, do it. We already jumped up to 25 likes. We are one quarter of the way there. All right. We have some epic, epic, dope news today. First, let me say what's up to everybody coming into the chat. Nathan, Vegan, Tony. Hey, shout out to the homie Tony. Just became a member of the OGC. Somebody else did become a member after you, Tony. So your name's not up there anymore. But we were running some 2K last night. Tony is lit in 2K, bro. A solid, solid player. So if you want to play with your boy, it's some NBA 2K on the PS5 and other games on the PS5. Tim Tim, I will be playing Tim Tim tomorrow. Any sponsors who want to play Tim Tim launches tomorrow. We'll talk about that later. Um, we're still giving the stream thumbs up. We're already at 40 likes. Thanks to everybody. Um, What's, let me keep saying what's up Saif what's up Slim Too Good what's up bro Dark Charizard what's up T Devil our last month $60 digital code giveaway winners in the chat Cameron what's up Bert what's up Ant what's up Miss Miss Lucifer what's up Bustin Justin what's up Swader what's up Nathan Powell what's up what's up to Ronnie what's up what's up to everybody coming into the stream um thanks for everybody coming in watching all right so i already talked about if you want to join adult gaming community you could become a sponsor links are in the description three ways to join you get into my um um private gaming discord you get to hang out and just chill all right so that's the first thing become a sponsor next Next, 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 we have a $60 digital code giveaway every month for subscribers. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, click subscribe and follow me on Twitter and you are in the giveaway. All right. All right, Brandon. I see you, Brandon. Georgette, what's up? Swader, what's up? I said, what's up to Ronnie Hustle? I think so. Jabbar, what's up? Julian, what's up? What's up, Captain Cutler? Did I say what's up to everybody? Shaquille, Shaquille, we still trying to get you into our Discord, bro. Get into our Discord. I know you uh, became a sponsor. Samantha, what's up? All right. We have some pretty epic news on today cyberpunk is hype the country we're going to talk about cyberpunk but first but first sony has dropped an all new video slash hype trailer for 2021 games and it's on the official playstation youtube channel and it's titled new and upcoming games and some interesting information on all of the games. All right, let's watch the trailer. It's only about a minute and 55 seconds. Hey, speaking of Spider-Man, Miles Morales on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan plays gaming championship. I did just beat um, Spider-Man, Miles Morales today. I give the game a 10 out of 10. Perfect game. A perfect console launch title. It's a short game, but a dope game. I'm... Oh, Shaquille, you're Dr. No Love. I didn't put the two together, bro. Got you. Now it's all making sense. All right, we lit. What's up, Dr. No Love? What's up, bro? That's the homie, man. All right, so I beat um, Spider-Man Miles Morales 10 out of 10. Next, coming 2021, already been confirmed, a PlayStation exclusive, Horizon Forbidden West. Some dudes were speculating 
PC did. Is it going to come on PC too? Nope, it's just a PlayStation exclusive. We're going to get more information, information that we haven't known before. Watch this, watch this. All right, so they got Horizon. Bro, I can't wait for this game. Sony is killing it right now, bro. Gran Turismo 7 coming 2021. 2021 is going to be amazing on the PlayStation 5. Day one, we're going to be having those lit Gran Turismo 7 prize tournaments for the sponsors. It's going to be lit. Deathloop, check this out. Check out the subtitle, um, the fine print. It says, also available on PC, not available on other consoles until at least 12 months after release. This is crazy. Um, Deathloop, this is a Bethesda game. Bethesda has just been bought by Microsoft, but... Deathloop will be an exclusive to the PlayStation 5, I mean to the PlayStation platform for a whole year. This won't be available until 2022 on Xbox, Nintendo Switch, if it can handle it. The Switch don't blow up trying to run it. And so, of course, Sony made this deal with Bethesda before Xbox bought them, so it makes sense. But Deathloop coming next year, and it has now been confirmed a one year console console exclusive it's coming to the pc but it won't be on the xbox for at least 2022 all right let's keep going that was interesting but i almost want to slow down the trailer death loop looks cool but i'm probably gonna pass on it this game right here project athia doesn't give us a release date, but it says um, in development for the PlayStation 5. And check this out. Not the fine print for Project Athia says not available on other consoles until at least 24 months after release date. So this is pretty much an exclusive, bra. If it's not coming to any other platform for at least two years they're gonna get all their sales on the ps5 and so this is pretty much going to be an exclusive i could imagine this is probably going to be on game pass years after it launches on the ps5 this game looks amazing bro let me put the playback speed slow for this one hey check this game out bro look at the dragon bro Look at how dope this looks, man. Um, you could tell this is made by Square Enix because I, I, those enemies remind me of Final Fantasy. All right, next game, Demon Souls. I just told you guys I beat Spider-Man on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan plays gaming championship. The next game I'm going to be playing will be Demon's Souls. I'm going to tomorrow because Temtem is coming out. I'm going to do a launch stream on with Temtem. And then probably Wednesday, I will start Demon's Souls, which will be epic, boy. So Demon's Souls, we already know this game is out. It's already a PlayStation 5. This is strictly a PlayStation 5 exclusive. I can't wait to play this game, bruh. Ghostwire, all right, Ghostwire Tokyo. This is also another um, PlayStation console exclusive. This is also coming to PC, but it says not available, new tidbits, not available on other consoles until at least 12 months after release date. So, this won't be coming out on Xbox until 2022. Um, and so, Sony locked in a couple of dope, dope timed exclusives. Hey, we're at 51 likes. I need 50, 49 people to give the stream a thumbs up. Let's get it over 100 likes. Let's do it. What's up to everybody coming into the stream? And so, Ghostwire Tokyo will be a PS5 exclusive for an entire year for 12 months according to this new information on this new trailer that just came out today from sony all right 
Jerba says, have you heard about the different PS5 models having different fans in them? Yeah, I talked about that like about four days ago. Crazy. I think um, Sony found a better, a more improved fan and um, implemented that. So some PS5s have different fans in them, bro. I haven't had any problems with both of my PS5s. And so maybe I got the improved fan. Who knows? All right. Thanks, everybody. We're at 63 likes already. All right. Ghostwire Tokyo, the game does look cool. It does look cool. I'm probably going to pass on that too, though. I'll see. I'll see. All right. Now, no other console until 20. This game right here, Ratchet and Clank, was the game that sold me on getting a PS5. After I saw this trailer, I was like, that's it. I'm definitely getting a PS5 lit. Godfall, I just beat Godfall. Also dope. Um, I think Ratchet and Clank just said coming 2021, right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what Ratchet and Clank says. And then we're gonna we're gonna skip. Yeah, it just says coming 2021. Alright, let's skip. Alright, let's go. Um, Godfall is also available on PC. Dope, dope, dope game. I beat it with a couple of the sponsors. Dope, dope, dope game. Sack Boy Big Adventure after Demon Souls. I will be on that sack, boy. I'm hoping they patch an online multiplayer by the time I'm ready to play it. I want to play that with sponsors. Um, Destruction All-Star is going to be lit in February. Already confirmed. It will be free to PlayStation Plus members. I think this is going to be a dope, dope party type game. 2K is already out. The PS5 has a definitive version according to Digital Foundry. You already know 2K is the main game that I play on my PS5. We be lit on that 2K, bruh. Let's go. Let's get it, bruh. Um, Daniel C says, should I get Godfall? It depends. If you're into like looters, bro, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I deleted it off my PS5. The game kept crashing when I tried to load it, so I stopped. Um, the Village, this is Resident Evil 8, coming 2021, 2021, Village. So, I'm probably going to pass on that too, never been real big on Resident Evil games. And that's it, and so those are, um, that's the new trailer Sony just launched on their um, official YouTube channel, showcasing, giving us some tidbits of some more, um, the timed exclusives that will be on the PlayStation 5. I'm telling you, they've had a great launch month. And I think they're just going to go even higher in 2021. Dope, dope, dope games coming to a PlayStation 5 near you. Bro, the next news item. I know I don't talk about Nintendo. I haven't talked about Nintendo news in a while. Nintendo hasn't gotten me excited in a while. But this is too big to ignore. What's going on in the Nintendo community right now? Just to give you guys a recap so you can be up to date. It's on fire right now in Nintendo land. Bro, because of the coronavirus, um, in-person tournaments have been canceled and so the only way they're doing fighting tournaments are strictly online and so one organization i should get the organization name up um um one organization um was doing a um um a smash melee tournament and of course melee came out on the gamecube sony and xbox had online but the gamecube didn't even though it was it, i think he, there was a way to add online to it long story short melee has no online and so a emulator um slippy online would allow players to play melee online and so they were going to use this emulator to run Melee online so fans can still have the tournament. Nintendo shut it down. That's right. Nintendo's like, we're not about that emulator life. They didn't want an official Smash tournament to be run on an emulator. Something that Nintendo does not promote. And then 
it all began. The hashtag free melee started to trend on Twitter. Fans were upset at Nintendo. Bro, Nintendo is just like went back to back to back upsetting fans. So this is the first thing. The cancellation of the melee tournament. And so the hashtag free melee started to trend and Nintendo fans were raging about that. And so a days, a couple days later, Nintendo was hosting a Splatoon um, official tournament. And guess what? The names of some of the top teams in the Splatoon tournament were hashtag free melee or um, it was it was names in protest to smash and because of the names of these splatoon teams were protesting smash nintendo shut down that tournament too so that's strike number two. First, they stopped the smash tournament because of the use of emulators second nintendo stopped the Nintendo the streaming of the splatoon tournament because of the names of the teams the teams were using names in protest um the one team name was free smash or free melee and so nintendo shut down the splatoon tournament and then yesterday breaking news yesterday the internet got upset once again why nintendo has banned the future selling of the Etika Joy-Con Boys Joy-Cons. The custom Joy-Cons um, um, with the Joy-Con Boys uh, in honor of Etika. Nintendo shut that down too. And so back to back to back, a series of unfortunate events and the Nintendo community is upset right now with nintendo personally the only one that really bothered me a little bit was the whole etiquette thing because y'all know me and etiquette was real cool um and so i think they should have just come on nintendo that ain't nothing to, to just have the joy con boys thing that 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 that's the only real thing that bothered me the whole smash melee thing i never was a big fan of melee um i play smash very casually i've never been big on smash so i just thought it was all funny and entertaining but either way you put it, Nintendo has had three major strikes this these past few days with the um, with the Nintendo community, and y'all know how things can blow up on on online. And so hopefully, 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 Nintendo can right these wrongs and um do something, bro. I was sharing this with someone today. Uh, easy easy solution and who knows maybe this is something nintendo's cooking up anyway and they're gonna announce it at the game awards in three days speaking of game awards i will be live streaming the game awards so make sure you're subscribed notifications are on so when i go live you're, you're in hanging out with your boy but bro i was saying an easy solution would be for nintendo announce super smash melee coming to the nintendo switch with online that's easy a no-brainer and then fans could actually start playing melee online and they can host an online melee tournament officially and legally through the nintendo switch a obvious easy solution a easy layup but knowing Nintendo, it's not going to happen, bro. <laughs> that is not going to happen. As obvious and easy of a solution this is, simply just put Smash, uh, put Melee on the Nintendo Switch with the ability to play online. Easy, obvious solution. Nintendo's not going to do it. I just know Nintendo, bro. They are tone deaf when it comes to what fans want. And this is one area where I give Xbox and Sony 100% credit. They listen and pay attention to their fans. Y'all remember when Sony was like, nope, we're not doing crossplay. We are not playing ball with Xbox. The fans started to cry out and Sony changed their tunes. 
Xbox does the same thing time after time when something happens and the community starts to cry out or get upset they listen and make adjustments as a company but for some reason Nintendo is always slow to change uh, they're stuck in some of their uh, traditional Japanese ways and I really don't think Smash Melee Online is happening anytime soon even though it would be the obvious answer. Michael Swift, thanks for subscribing to my gaming channel. All right, so I thought that was interesting. Next news, big news today for all of the cyberpunk heads. Everyone who is hyped on this game, get officially hyped, boy. As it is right now, the reviews for cyberpunk have been coming in and they have been overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive. Close the door behind you, Samuel. Cyberpunk 2077 right now stands at a very, a very impressive 91 on Metacritic. That is good. And I tell you this. Um, it doesn't qualify this year for game game of the year because I want last of us two to win it but next year 100% guarantee cyberpunk will be in the 2021 game of the year nominations um, right now it stands at a 91 on Metacritic and one review that sticks sticks out I usually go to them first IGN gave the game a 9 out of 10. So it got a 9 out of 10 on IGN. Now, something interesting. I was told, I didn't actually um, watch the review. I just saw the score. That it took IGN only 20 hours um, to beat the game. 20 hours. Now, there's another article from GameSpot. And GameSpot is saying, you got to go that way, Samuel. Why? Because this is a, a game you can watch. GameSpot is saying that the game takes closer between 30 to 40 hours. 30 to 40 hours to beat. Um, and I have to say this. I'm passing on this game. There are so many other games that I want to play right now. Um, I just beat Miles Morales. I want to beat Demon Souls next. I'm just not going to have time. I'm not going to have time to play this game. And so I'm going to be passing at launch on Cyberpunk 2077. Another reason is this is going to be a PS4 game. The game still, the PS5 version of the game and Xbox Series X version of the game won't be launching until I think 2021. And so, of course, it's 2021 because it was the last month of the year. So, I probably will give the game another look once it's optimized for the PS5. And maybe, maybe by that time, um, I'm done with a bunch of these launch. No, because 2021, Ratchet and Clank, Kena Bridge of Spirits. And the Sony thing, they didn't even show Kena Bridge of Spirits, I guess, because that's not... Um, no, no, they were showing third-party games. They didn't even show Kena, bro. There's so many games to play, bro. And this game really isn't at the top of my list. I don't know. The environment just doesn't do it for me. And so, but the game has gotten rave, raving reviews. It's going to be a dope, dope game. And so, and, I, and again, the 20, 30, uh, 40 hours, the most that they're, they're reporting is probably just the mainline story. I'm almost 100% sure if you start doing the side quests and trying to really get into the game, it starts to probably go into the 60-hour, 70-hour region for completionists. But I think this is going to be a dope, dope, dope game. Cyberpunk, go ahead and check out the reviews for this game. Bro, this next news item, I thought this was cray-cray, bro. Check out the headline to this article, and I kid you not. This is coming from thegamer.com. UK gangs using fast and the furious tactics to steal PS5s from delivery trucks. Bro, you are not going to believe what people are doing to get PS5s. All right. 
says if you're wondering why your local store still hasn't gotten the ps5 in stock yet it's probably due to sony facing distribution issues in various regions or this is crazy bro or if you're in the uk it could be because your ps5 was stolen off the back of a delivery truck wait for it while it was still moving <laughs> bro according to the times a recent crime wave this isn't just one incident but series of incidents with the same crime a recent crime wave in the uk has led the authorities to report almost 30 rollover raids on moving trucks while the truck is moving dudes are hopping on the back of these trucks and stealing playstation 5s i wish i was making this up bro bro this is crazy this is some crazy fast and furious stuff bro this is happening in the united kingdom gangs are robbing the back of delivery trucks while the trucks are in motion brah that's some driving up to the back of it jumping <laughs> what are they doing bro this is crazy this is actually happening that's the extent to which people are going to getting playstation 5s fast and the furious bro it is not that serious bro you could break your neck you could die bro try to get a ps5 man so this is being reported this is what's been happening in the united kingdom i just hope you got everyone who wants to get a ps5 can get one bro hey what's up to everybody we're at 81 likes bro we're gonna do it right now i need 19 people give the stream a thumbs up and let's get it over 100 likes right now 19 people right now just give the stream a thumbs up it doesn't take you not less than a second to just click a like button let's go let's get it over 100 likes right now 19 people all right next news item some dope 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 games I will be launching on the PlayStation 5 starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, Destiny 2. Destiny 2 Beyond Light officially launches for the PlayStation 5 tomorrow. And so we're going to finally be getting the next gen upgrade uh, to Destiny 2. I probably... And does anyone know if you already have... Because I have Destiny on my ps4 i'm assuming the upgrade will be free to the playstation 5 i'm hoping so um i've always wanted to get into this game but i could not play it at 30 frames on my ps even on my ps4 pro it was at 30 frames per second and so the game will be 4k 60 on next gen i just might i just might um try out destiny 2 on the ps5 tomorrow but here's the thing not one but two dope games will be tomorrow launching tomorrow on the playstation 5 tim tim early access release date on the ps5 is tomorrow if you are a pokemon fan and you have a ps5 this game will be worth a try it's focused more on 2v2 battles and will be online you could you could actually beat the game online but i think in the early access um it's the game still isn't complete so you only get to a certain point in the story but i will 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 be trying this game out tomorrow tim tim and we'll see um buck says tim tim is not that cool <laughs> he said i played it on pc it's meh well in my opinion um bucks pokemon is meh so it's probably gonna be the same for me um i will be trying it out tomorrow tomorrow i don't know how much it is i know it's available to preload on the playstation store right now so i'll probably preload it sometime today so i'll be ready to go tomorrow we're gonna be on that tim tim boy bro some upsetting news for me bro this is in 
This is for the Game Awards Player's Choice. This is the Player's Choice. So this isn't Game of the Year. This is Game of the Year Player's Choice, not the critical game of the big Game of the Year award. But for the Player's Choice, um, um, the fans, this is the Fans Vote Game of the Year award. Last of Us 2 was winning. But as it stands right now, Ghost of Tsushima is at 42%. And Last of Us Part 2 is at 36%. At first, I thought it was different rounds in that um, Last of Us won the first two rounds. No, each round, games were being eliminated up until round three. So this is the these are the final close to results. It's not over yet. But as of the time of this live stream, Ghost of Tsushima is at 42%. Last of Us 2 is at 36%. Bro, I need a couple dudes to go and vote for Last of Us 2. Even if you haven't played it, just trust Obi on this one. Last of Us 2, and don't, and don't get me wrong, Sony is winning either way. I like, I like Ghost of Tsushima, so if it wins, I'm not going to be too upset. I just like Last of Us 2 better, bro. And because of all the hate the game was getting, I think it deserves it. And so, right now, Ghost of Tsushima, 42%. Last of Us 2 is at 36%. So, we need to go, and I need a couple dudes to go and vote. Fan vote, Last of Us 2. Let's get it back on top, boy. Um, but I'm liking Last of Us 2, man. All right. Two more news items, then we're going to be heading out. A uh, man, this, the PlayStation 5 news is just crazy this year. This is coming from comicbook.com. A man reportedly buys a PlayStation 5 on eBay and gets a concrete block instead. I was chopping it up with Bucks, a couple of the sponsors in the voice chat today, and we were talking about this actually. And this is why I don't really mess with eBay, bro. Hey, broken, you about to be banned, bro. Buy some vote for Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I don't mess with eBay, man. I've had a bad experience with eBay a couple years ago, and I don't mess with them too much. But just imagine you spending $500 for a new console. You're hyped, you're anticipating, you probably already bought games, and then it's delivered and it's just a concrete block. That's what happened to someone on eBay. It's a shame. Crazy stuff are happening. Fast and furious raids. Um, um, um. Amazon losing PS5s and now this on eBay too. Your best bet is to walking into GameStop and buying a PS5 yourself, bro. Um, Big Stout said, I told you Game of the um, GO2 is going to win. Ghost of Tsushima is going to win. Don't screw the numbers. Hey, Big Stout. Hey, we got to start fake voting like Trump, bro. Y'all go and vote for... No, it's not fake voting. It's legit. Go and vote for go, uh, Last of Us 2. But Big Stout, this is the fan vote. This isn't the big Game of the Year award. So, But I want Last of Us 2 to win both of them, bro. So stop being a hater, Big Stout. Appreciate the $2 super chat, though, my guy. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. All right. And, bro... Speaking of game of the um the game awards, shout out to Bucks. He just tweeted this to me while I was going live. Jeff Keeley has tweeted out that he's going to be doing a Reddit AMA Ask Me Anything on the Game Awards in about one, no, in about 25 minutes. He said he's gonna post the link shortly. And so um uh, he posted the link. I, I'm gonna post the link in the chat for you guys. Um, yeah, and so he's doing an ask me anything. All right, and so this is, did it already start? I'm gonna go to the link right now live. We'll go to it live right now. All right, here, here's the link. I'm posting it in the chat. I just posted the link in the chat. And this is it right here. This is his AMA. Uh, let me move my chat. It says, hi, I'm, hi, I'm Jeff Kelly, producer of the Game Awards. Watch our show this Thursday at um, December 10th, streaming live on over 45 platforms, including Obi-Wan Plays YouTube channel, the official way to watch the Game Awards. Head to the Game Awards to vote for your favorite games. Now, ask me anything. Let me see what these dudes are asking. How did you manage to keep the Xbox Series X reveal from last year under wraps? Uh, uh, I saw five weeks of the pre-show. All right. 
Now, one thing I can say, all right, so there's a whole bunch of questions. He'll be um, probably answering them in about 30 minutes or so. But he did confirm at the Game Awards, we will be saying some big PS5 reveals. He's already confirmed that on Twitter. Big next-gen reveals will be at the Game Awards. I can't wait. Game Awards is always lit, man. It's just below E3 for me. I like the announcements. Jeff Keighley's done a great job um, doing this for gamers. Um, a lot of dudes have been complaining, oh, because he got, like, celebrities. But he gets the celebrities in so that people can watch and um, acknowledge, like, the game developers and all of that. So he's doing a great job. I'm going to be live streaming the Game Awards. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on. So in two days, three days, um, you can live stream. You can see my live reactions to the Game Awards. All right, dudes. Those are all the news items that I have for this stream. Thanks to everybody for coming out, hanging out. We're at 95 likes, five people. Give the stream a thumbs up. We'll get over 100 likes. All right. Um... What do you guys think about everything? Everything we talked about in the stream today, sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. button. Stay, Stay up, up today. today. All, All things gaming. gaming. Bro, we, we out. out. Peace. Wait, why is that kill yelling? Ah, uh, you should have watched the stream, bro. You told me get out because it it is kid stuff. That's you like me. You, you really like me. 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 I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a sixty dollar digital code every month for your platform of choice: Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two. Follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. Y'all yeah, can hear me tell them this. Backslash Obi Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Let's <laughs> 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 stay quiet, Samuel. Uh, kids are laughing. They're having a good time. All right. <laughs>